Could you guys? You wake, man. Yeah. I I have I have my damage calc up and everything. So it should be ready. I'll calc for you if you need. Yep. Well, when are you guys starting? So I'm waiting for him to get on. Someone get AR in here. Fuck it, bro. AR doesn't speak. It's pointless. I told I told Bolt that I'm gonna fight him after Halloween event. Yeah. You're so big. You guys don't wanna know what I just did on the camera. <laughs> oh fuck, I actually put an invite in the group chat so um We are now joining Obsidian Wraith. Uh, wait actually I should probably get a uniform for this. I am dressed up as Stan Moss from South Park, and I will be your commentator today. It's actually my winter clothing. The waste. The 35 timer begins now! Timer starts! We see that our opponent Max aka Kartik has led Luminami as has Obsidian Wraith himself. I got a little bit of a glimpse at the matchup. I did not see a single Lumion that Kartik brought. Terza, who do you think is winning? I believe in Obsidian Wraith, a fellow teammate. The teammate. Uh, there's no thumbs emoji. We are not on mobile, so we cannot do that. Instead, we can talk about how there's Luminami versus Luminami. Now, Obsidian Rig has a Leshen in the back that he could switch into to absorb that flash and flee. And if Kartik decides to make the little frost beam prediction, shoot a little bit of beam and freezing coldness, a little bit chilly. Thankfully, I got this winter clothing on. Luminami would take that and he could flash and flee. Now, which Luminami is slower? Some Luminami run minimum speed. We see that he actually makes the fast beam prediction, but he stays in. Oof. A little bit shit for you, eh? Oh, they both made fast beam predictions. Uh. <laughs> the heck was that turn one? <laughs> well, that was a very uneventful turn one. Maybe they'll start playing a little bit more aggressive turn two, however. Excite the people a little bit. Maybe a double frost beam, and one of them will switch to Lashen. I'm assuming it's Lashen. I don't know what else it is. Maybe Florant. There's a frost beam right there! Does Obsidian Wraith make the flash and flee play? Oh, someone joined the VC. Ooh, he makes a mega charm play! Little bit of decent damage on the Luminami, not much as Luminami is very overpowered in this game. However, we do need it to keep the meta together, we can't ban it. So, fuck you, Akash. Uh, let's see, does the enemy Luminami have mega charm? Not all Luminamis run mega charm nowadays, some have been running Rejuvenate. Peace of mind variants. Who knows? Oh, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Thunderchomp Luminami is a viable set as well. This could be anything. Who knows what Max is running on his Luminami. Obsidian Wraith has the edge, however, as he has slightly more damage on the Luminami. Actually, it's approximately double damage on Max's Luminami than his Luminami. So it's actually very significant. It's double. That's a huge percentage. Ooh, looks like Alasha has finally come in. Has the other side switched? Obsidian Wraith making the plays, making the rounds as a professional Lumia Legacy player, one of the best of all time, cementing himself as a Giga Chad. Now, uh, Obsidian Wraith, I'm pretty sure it doesn't. Let me check the stream. Yeah, he has no uh, immunities. He switched to Krakaloa. Let's see if the switch to Krakaloa pays off. Lashen could very easily click a fade away here, but a slap down to remove the item or trigger the Shade Pearl on Luminami is very appealing. Will we see that or will we see another prediction for another switch? This is a very slow paced shitty battle. No one is liking it. But at least Lashen has been saying. Jesus Christ, I need a water bottle. At least Lashen has been significantly chipped. Lashen and his little shirt, they're not as stylish as my winter clothing, obviously. He only has two buttons. I have zero. Well, my pants let me masturbate from here, so that's good. I'm kidding, that's not how it works. Ooh, a double switch into the Stratosaur. Ooh, this could be bad, but also potentially really good, depending on the Krakaloa set. A dissonant chord right now looks fairly appealing, but obviously that wrist stratosaur getting flare blasted. Luminami is a fairly free switch in. But it could end up wind it could wind up ending taking a little bit of a dark switch, and because of the mega chump damage, that actually doesn't matter. It heals pretty much all the way to full, so 
Luminami's a pretty free switch in right now. So let's see. Will Max make the Luminami play? And will Obsidian Rift catch that with a switch to his Lashent? Now, we do have to acknowledge that Obsidian Wraith has a Morphezu in the back, and that Morphezu could be the key to success. However, now is not the time to bring it in. Ooh, he does make a double switch, and it is a ch into the Illuminami like we suspected, and Obsidian Wraith makes the Tyrex play. The Tyrex play is curious. I will let Obsidian Wraith make the plays. I am not as good of a player as him. I am just a fat ass from Asia with a small penis and a chocolate bar. You know what? Commentator deserve a snack. It's called Lur. I don't know what the fuck this is. Ooh. A little mukbang. Mm. Nine out, eight out of ten, pretty good. Now, is that skate good and eight out of ten play? It seems like it might be, as Luminami is starting to run out of energy. Obsidian Rafe is setting himself up. However, we must acknowledge that Hyrex's HP will be worn down from its own scapegoats. So this might not be so free. Speaking a lot is tiring. I don't know how I live stream like this. Ooh. Interesting. I'm not so sure what Obsidian Wraith is planning here. Tyrex might have been in position, but it might be better for him to play safe. We'll see if that pays off. It looks like Max is done making the predictions. He goes for the switch. It is still 5-5. In comes, ooh, Elephage. There's a Lumion we have not witnessed in this battle yet. Elephage, one of my least favorite Lumions in the game. I like its design, but it has fucked me in the ass many times. It has approximately a 98.7% win rate versus me, and that's only increasing every day. We'll see if Obsidian Wraith's win rate will be similar against LFH. Hopefully not though, because I don't want that. I want it to win. LFH, the little cunty slut that it is, with its little Indian thing at the top. I'm not racist, I love Indians. I love everyone. You should too. Thunderstrike is on its way! Uh, I believe that he does have that Lashent that hasn't come in yet, right? Obsidian Wraith? Zip-zap reveal on the LFH! A little bit spooky. And I, Lashen seems like a pretty good switch in right now. And there it is. It's unlikely that Obsidian Wraith makes the Frostbeam play again. But will he? He does, because that's just how good of a player Obsidian Wraith is. Round of applause for that sexy ass man. That's the Milkshake variant on the Lashen. Milkshake Lashen has been coming up in popularity, rising a little bit. It's a fairly appealing item when you can afford to give Lashen the milkshake, even though it'll often get slapped down because Lashen vs. Lashen is a fucking hellhole. Krakaloa comes in. I expect a fade away this turn. Ooh, an earthquake. We see that this Lashen is running the earthquake coverage. Little fearful of Billow Forge, it seems. Or this Krakaloa. AR here. Little boy AR, very lovely boy. Watching the battle between Obsidian Wraith and Max, as is the rest of us. Now, Lashen could click a fade away, but a switch to Luminami is not impossible. I predict Lashen will likely switch into Luminami this turn. Would Obsidian Wraith call that? Hang on, let me tell him. Oh, never mind, never mind, I was gonna tell him. Did he make the read? He's been making the reads this whole battle. He goes for the Soul Burst, making him weak to the fade away, which could get a little bit spooky for him in the future, having to switch into Lashen. But overall, the firepower of the Krakaloa, the extra bulk, might be better in the long run. So I'll let Obsidian Rake decide. I think this turn that Luminami has a good chance to flash and flee, as the Tyrex looks pretty good now that the heat wave is up, stifling the water damage of the Luminami. And he makes the predictions again because of course he does! 
Look at that damage. Absolutely stunning. That is a more melee defensive heavy armor lumen on me. Hang on, give me a second. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. That's, that's no Tyrex! I think. Flash can maximum. He probably maximum flashes this turn. Yes, he probably flashes this turn, like I just said, in my extremely professional, not totally British, not fake at all voice. Imagine having a fake voice on oh my god. Ugh. Ugh. Luminami goes for the last of this like I expected, but Obsidian Wraith unfortunately stays in, even though I fucking told him that. Doesn't matter. He... They switch into the Elf Age. Does Obsidian Wraith make the Rejuvenate play? He does. Now, Elf Age has two options to turn. A Flash and Flee or a Deja Vu. Or actually, if Flash and Flee is not an option, but Zip Zap is because... Actually, no, there's a Tyrex in the back. This might get a little bit spooky. <laughs> 25 minutes left, nerds. Oh, like Stan Moss would say, you killed Kenny. And Kenny here is this Krakaloa. And Krakaloa is a little bit dangered. Fire fire right now? Indeed. What's the VC saying? IDK, I muted. How do we make progress? Well, we simply probably should aim for 1 KO. This battle is likely to be a shitty stall fest. Ooh! The correct read made by Max here as a rejuvenate comes out. Now, he needs to make the right pivot move. Lachette has not been revealed yet, so I expect a zip zap, so give me a second. I can go Lumi. I want my health back. You have Lachette, right? Oh, you don't have Lachette. Never mind. I don't believe Lachette. Okay. No, I just didn't. He left Lachette behind. Not amazing. As this elephant becomes a threat, a zip zap is likely to come out, but actually, Flash and Flea fearing the Tyrex and aiming for that little bit of super effective damage, which I understand. Now, would Lachet come in on their side? If so, I hope Obsidian Rift stays in this turn, because this should be a decent opportunity to fire off a Frostbeam into the fadeaway. So let me tell him that. Or should I just trust everyone else? I don't know. I mean, you're shape pro. Should you stay? I think yeah. you might want to stay in this turn. That might be a good option. Okay. Okay. Yeah, do, I, yeah, do, I yeah, yeah. do I frost beam? Yeah, I think you frost, frost beam. beam. I have officially told it to frost beam, and if that's fucked up, that's fucked up, and everyone will be sad. But I don't expect that. That's not gonna happen. That's a bunch of hooey. He goes. Okay. The play has worked. Lachette is now a little bit endangered. I think another Frostbeam would be pretty good. Let's see, does he go for another Frostbeam? Does he do it? Does he do it? He should suck my dick. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, does, does everyone, does I, everyone I think Frostbeam or? again is the play. I don't think, I don't think you'll go Shachi. Hey, he oh, might, Shachi well, actually, actually, actually okay, I'll let you go. I have interrupted the VC. Because I, I saw they were actually hovering over Shachi, which was pretty interesting. Now, would Lashen click a slapdown this turn? It's fully possible. Shachi comes in. This is a dangerous play. Does Max call it? He does not! Max, you fucking suck! Now, he has to fear the Pyrokinesis this turn. Luminami is available to switch into, but it's more likely that Elephage comes in. So, I... Mm. I think Tyrex is a good middle ground this turn. Mm -hmm. What do you think about going Tyrex? What do you think about Tyrex? Is Tyrex a good play? I, I would I would just hit him maybe. Alright, 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 okay. Alright, okay. okay. I'll, I'll listen to that. They have decided to hit immediately according to a lyrical, lyrical Super Hamza! Very sexy person. We all love Lyrical Super Hamza. And we also, what we don't love is this fucking elephant. I hate you, you're so ugly. Oh my god, I hate you. Ah, unfortunately, he makes the pyrokinesis play. Unfortunate. A status burn would have been very nice to see there, but unfortunately, we don't get to witness it. A foul chant there would have been wonderful, but unfortunately, Obsidian Ray fails the read this time. It's okay, though. Pyrokinesis was the safer play, and overall, I think that was okay. Goes for the foul chant this turn. That's a lot of damage. That's hey yo, 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 that's a lot of damage. Hey. Oh no, Max! No. I mean, shut up. 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 Sh
thought she was gonna. Uh, guys, the, what does that count as? He he deceived. Do I do I report that? Do I report it? Are you sure you deceived? Yeah, I mean, yeah. Of course. yeah. Yes. Yes. It. It's been five minutes. It's been five minutes before you. That, that counts, right? That counts, right? Yeah, that counts. <laughs> Thanks, so, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 freaking way. Oh, I, 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 can't I think it didn't even matter, though. Shot you. Uh well uh yeah. I reported <laughs> it. Chance, you just to build a shen and play around it. Uh well, well I reported it. <laughs> you, you you were in the lead I think. Well um. Oh my god. Yippee ki yay! We see Obsidian Rave has succeeded. Look at that shorty, so sexy. So I can't call a rat sexy. Uh, rat, the rat is not sexy. The, yeah, the, the, this is why. This is what. The Pyrokinesis is fire. better than Frostbeam, damn it! Match DC, that's crazy! That's actually that's insane. insane. Well, that's, uh. That's the case, that's the case. Okay, Obsidian Rafe, uh, you, got, you, you, you will be featured in the next upcoming oh, video of Deli Soul. <laughs> He needs to follow someone No, bro, this is sad. <laughs> look at the look at the solo. Look, look at the solo. Look at the solo. Well, I'm gonna go now, bye. We get to witness a moment of history. We see free kids watching seek some music and stuff. Friday Night Funkin'. I don't want to live on this planet anymore. I'm gonna masturbate through my pants.